Here at four, we've got new pictures just into the newsroom from Mitchell, Illinois here. Take a look near Interstate 270 and Illinois 203. You see a pavilion completely surrounded by water as flooding from our historic rains this week continues to cause problems throughout the bi-state. Monday and Tuesday are now the wettest days ever recorded in November for our region. This afternoon, evacuations have been ordered for parts of Pacific with the Merrimack River set to rise to major flood level by Saturday. And in Jefferson County, even more flooding is expected to hit in the coming hours. First Alert 4's Morgan Harris joins us now with the warning to residents. Morgan. Yeah, so Cameron, this is video from Joan Drone 4 in Cedar Hill over the Big River. Now, it's here that the river is expected to crest at 27 feet. This would be the eighth highest crest recorded in the area, according to NOAA. Firefighters are now working to get some people to leave, and many of them have already listened. Tuesday began as an ordinary day for Krista Morath and her family until floodwaters began to rush through their part of Jefferson County. We were at the grocery store doing a pickup order and my daughter said, Mom, the water is rushing in the yard already and they couldn't even get out. Luckily, the water coming from the big river hadn't reached the home just yet. So we went to the fire station right up the road and asked their opinion. And they said, well, we'd rather rescue them now than later. According to the Cedar Hill Fire Protection District, around 15 to 20 people were rescued from their homes Wednesday morning. The flooding is expected to get worse over the next 24 hours. Even with warnings asking for people to leave the area, Fire Chief Mick Fisher says some don't want to take the department's advice. Some of these people were people that we were there previous and we tried to get them to come out and they didn't want to come out and then they called us and we had to go back out and get them. Jefferson County is prone to flooding, so long-term residents have experienced this before. Chief Fisher believes what's coming may be a scenario residents won't be prepared for, so he's trying to do what he can to get people out now. When we try to educate them of that, um, you know, it turns into an argument. It's the best thing is if they can get out now is to get out. Morath's family listened. They came within 20 minutes with boats and they got my granddaughter who's three months old, my daughter and her boyfriend and our three dogs. So Cedar Hill Fire is also reminding people who may be driving in the area to look out for any signs that may be warning you of rising water. If you happen to see any water, don't risk it. Follow the saying, turn around, don't drown. Morgan Harris, first alert four. All right, Morgan, thank you. Some pretty incredible video there. In